Hi, this is Dr. Madeline uh, with Spiritual Rebirth Tarot, and I would like to do a energy check-in for the weekend for the collective. So let's begin by preparing the space. It's good to um, prepare your mind as well as as you watch this. Um, it helps, you know, the message to come out that, that you are needing, you are needing to hear today. And so, um, let's start with the, um, animal cards and see, uh, the, um, energy for the weekend. So, energy week for the weekend for the collective. The energy for the weekend for the collective so let's do an energy check-in for the weekend for the collective okay all right so it's the uh, rhino overcome any obstacle so um you know this weekend we may um have some different um obstacles that come up to us and so for it's important to overcome those obstacles and especially if you think about the rhino and the thing that things that it has been through and um you know, all the damage that's done to the earth. I think, you know, it's kind of interesting, all the uh, flowers and the beautiful things, you know, around the rhino. Because when I think of it, I think of it as kind of like a dirty, uh, large, lumbering type of creature. Um, and that if it has an obstacle, it could go around it, but it probably just runs really hard and fast and pushes it out of its way. So it definitely overcomes the things around it. But also, it's actually very del delicate. Um, you know, it can be damaged and destroyed, as we know that there become less and less rhinos in the world. And so, um, even those who have the most ability to overcome obstacles in their lives are still delicate people that we should be treating with a delicate touch, and we should always treat everyone with gentleness and kindness in their lives and um so let's take a look at the um energy okay the energy for this week for the collective Energy for this week for the collective. <clears throat> mm. Okay, Eight of Cups, Nine of Wands, Nine of Cups, Five of Cups, King of Cups. And the soul card underneath is the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles, Strength, and the Chariot. Okay, so, um, during, you know, during this weekend, um, if you find an opportunity to give to someone else, take that opportunity. Um, it will bring more uh, strength and direction into your life. And um, as you, uh, you know, give to others, there are times when we don't feel like we have very much, but when we give what we have, um, it really helps helps those people. 
um, to um, to have more, and it also um, provides room in us to receive more. And um, as we, as you think about in the Bible, um, where Jesus said to the young man, "Go, give away everything that you own, everything that you have to the poor, and follow me." And he was like, I can't give everything away. But, you know, if only he'd realized that Jesus was was bountiful. He owned the entire everything. The universe is completely full. And there's so much to offer to us. And so let's say you could only have three coins at a time. And you had three pennies. And someone said to you, give away your pennies. Uh, because you can always have three coins. And you're like, no, I'm going to keep these pennies. I don't want to give them away. I, I want what I have. But someone else is like, sure, I'll, I'll give away my pennies. And they give away their pennies. And someone else hands them three quarters. You know, it's like they, by giving away what they had, they made room for something more and something even better. So generosity will always bring um, more strength and more direction into our lives. Okay, so as we do that, as we look at that, we look at the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is saying, you know, there's a lot of things in your life that have been really great. You know, you have the love of your family. You have um, maybe the love of your life. Um, you have a job that you love. Any of the things that you love. But yet there's something in your heart, something in your soul, and saying to you, as I, as I, as I uh, release these things, I don't hold on to them. It doesn't mean that you leave your family, but you know, as you release those things, something even better will be coming your way. So it's kind of the same concept that as you, as you, as you give, as you let go, you know, let go, breathe in, breathe out, and let it out, and let it go, and you will actually be walking into something better, and the something better is a much more mature sense of, um, you know, emotions, uh, for some people this, you know, this can even represent, uh, romance you know it's not just the knight of cup or even the queen it's the king of cups so during this experience you know you will be gaining strength and movement into an even higher level of understanding of your um, emotions so you know things that this weekend you may uh, face or deal with is just kind of a, a sense of pessimism that You'd really love to get over this river. You know, you'd really love to, you know, not have spilled these cups. But maybe you don't realize that there's two cups that are still full. There is a bridge that goes over the river. There is there is a way. There's always a way. There's always something there for you. So when you're faced this weekend with any kind of a sense of, of despair or oh my goodness how am I going to do it some kind of a uh, pessimism just remember the optimism that's being offered to you so instead of having pessimism optimism of what can be in the future and you know there'll be some battles that you've fought and as you've fought those battles um you know you have won um you may have some some bruises and some things that need to be fixed and so to do that you know spending time in uh, nature spending time alone drinking your cup filling your cup uh, with with the goodness that that you need uh, meditation prayer um, for some people you know spending time with people is the most beneficial bees they love to be in a group um and all joining together and that's really what brings them the most blessings so this weekend to help you overcome this uh sense of despair or despondency remember all of the the goodness and the blessings that are here and that are offered to you 
and that um, you have them and spending time in nature uh, spending time around water uh, spending time um, understanding your emotions and the emotions of the other people that are with you is um, a really great way and so you know this weekend the obstacles that you face you can overcome them with both a headstrong we can do it and a gentle kindness um, and uh, whatever it is needed in that situation so as we go into this weekend let's end with our um, little thought from the uh, wellness deck Abraham Hicks anything I can imagine being doing or having I can be do or have ask as you ask yourself why you want it the essence of your desire is activated so don't just think about things think of how they're going to feel to you and the universe begins to bring it to you it's as easy to create a castle as a button so if you want a castle don't just think of a castle. Imagine what it would feel like to be in that castle. And uh, that will help you to um, realize what's out there in the universe and to uh, walk toward what's even greater. Um, the other thing we can notice from this card is the, the moon. And there's going to be a full moon on August 3rd. So um, I hope to do a... A recording on August 2nd for the full moon and the things that we are going to learn as a collective so we can look forward to that so um, I pray that this will um, help and benefit you please subscribe to my channel and like the video share it with your friends and I'm I'm doing uh, private readings and uh, that you can uh, message me um, on Facebook or on Instagram, Spiritual Rebirth Tarot, or you can always um, send me an, an email or a message here on uh, YouTube. I don't get a lot of messages on YouTube yet, so that may change in the future, but I'll try to have um, some options in the uh, comments section, my email address. So, um, anyway, as we go through, remember, we can overcome any obstacle and uh, be sure and keep a giving spirit in your heart. All right, talk to you later.